Here comes the second question. The denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 12. In a fraction, what is up, that is the numerator. The number which is down is the denominator. We all know that. So, what information is given now? See, uh, and tell me, frame in your mind, what will you assume as x? Second thing you will assume as x. Denominator of a fraction is greater than, denominator is greater, bada hai, than its numerator. So, numerator is coming second by 12. So, we will write solution hmm, about numerator is mentioned second, no? So, we will write, let the numerator, let the numerator of fraction be x respectively. Let the numerator of fraction be x respectively. So, therefore, what will be the denominator? Therefore, denominator is equal to, we have the condition here. They have given the clue. Denominator of a fraction is greater. Again, greater means plus. Less means minus. More means plus. Less means minus. So, denominator of fraction is greater than its numerator. Numerator se bada hai. So, Numerator kya hai? X. So, denominator will be X plus by how much it is greater? Is greater than its numerator by 12. So, X plus 12. Numerator is X. Denominator is X plus 12. So, therefore, what is the fraction? Therefore, the fraction is, fraction is equal to numerator upon denominator. X upon X plus 12. What will be the fraction? Numerator is x. So, x upon x plus 12. This is the fraction. Ah, now, further information. Read further. If the numerator is decreased by 2. Numerator ko kam kia. Decreased means we will decrease the value by 2. So, minus. Numerator is decreased by 2. And denominator is increased. Increased means plus. Increased by 7. The new fraction is equivalent with 1 upon 2. So, by doing this, you get a new fraction and that is 1 upon 2. Okay? Huh. So, let us write from the given condition. From the given condition. What all things we are doing? Read the question once again and check. What are you doing? Numerator is decreased by 2. So, first we will do that. Ye hai numerator x. Decrease that by 2. Means minus 2 upon. What are we doing to the denominator? Denominator is increased by 7. Okay. Already it is x plus 12. To that you are increasing. Increasing means plus. How much you are increasing? By 7. Check again. Read the question again and see whether I have written correctly. Numerator is decreased by 2. So, x minus 2 upon. Denominator is increased by 7. So, it is already x plus 12. Uske saath increase it. So, plus 7 by 7. So, what are you getting? The new fraction. The new fraction is equivalent. That is, is equal to 1 upon 2. So, this is the condition. Now, we have to solve this equation. Let us solve. Put therefore, don't forget that. X minus 2 upon 12 plus 7 is 19. X plus 19 is equal to 1 upon 2. Now, just do cross multiplication and you will get the answer. So, therefore, 2 into X minus 2 is equal to 1 into X plus 19. Open the bracket, 2 into x, 2x minus 2 twos are 4. Solve it and pause the video after you get the answer. Only check the answer. Okay, don't copy. So, after solving, I got 2x minus 4 is equal to x plus 19. 2x minus x is equal to 19 minus 4 became plus 4. And x is equal to 
19 plus 4 is 23. What was x? Do you remember what you had taken as x? We had taken, we had taken the numerator as x. So numerator we got, denominator will be x plus 12. Write down. Therefore, numerator is equal to 23, denominator is equal to, denominator is x plus 12, right? So, x you got 23, so 23 plus 12, 23 plus 12 is 35, correct? So, what will be the fraction? Therefore, fraction is, what is the fraction? Fraction is nothing but numerator upon denominator. So, numerator had 23, denominator is 35. Check the calculation. I may make mistake in calculation. You check it children. So, I got the fraction as 23 upon 35. Okay. So, very simply, easily, we are getting the answers. Only remember the clue which I gave you. You should read the question. Or, jo baad mein diya hai na, the quantity which is mentioned second. That we will assume as x. Hmm? So, second question also we got it easily. This is the fraction 23 upon 35. This we can't cancel it further. Huh? So, keep it as it is. Moving on to the third sum. The third question is the ratio of, again ratio, something upon something is ratio. The ratio of the weight of copper, copper ka weight upon zinc in brass. Brass is an alloy, mixture of metals. No? Ah, so, in the alloy brass, Ratio of the weight of copper to zinc is 13 is to 7. Find the weight of zinc in brass utensil weighing 700 gram. So, total weight of the utensil, total weight of the burthen is 700 gram. In that brass utensil, you have some amount of copper and some amount of zinc. With this clue we have to find out how much is the weight find the weight of zinc in the brass utensil and the weight of that brass utensil is 700 gram so here you can take the question like this the ratio of weight of copper and zinc in brass ratio is given that is what is mentioned first copper so this 13 into something is for weight of the copper and 7 into something is weight of the zinc. Huh? Ratio is given now. So, we will suppose, we will write down the step as let the common multiple be let the common multiple be x respectively let the common multiple be x respectively. Means what? This doesn't mean that you have 13 gram of copper and 7 gram of zinc. Not like that. Ratio means a quantity upon another quantity. Both when you cancel, the reduced number is 13 is to 7. So, we are assuming that let the common multiple be x. So, therefore, weight of copper is equal to first to copper so first number is 13 13 x weight of zinc is equal to second number is 7 7 x weight of copper is 13 x weight of zinc 7 x find the weight of zinc in the brass utensil weighing 700 gram total weight of the utensil that is if you add this two you will get 700 gram because ye dono ko mila ke you have the vessel. So, next step we will write from the given condition from the given condition from the given condition comma 13x plus 7x copper and zinc if you mix you get brass utensil and that brass utensil weight is 700 grams. Okay, 700. 
लेट सॉल्व थर्टीन प्लस सेवन इज ट्वेंटी एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवन हंड्रेड देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवन हंड्रेड अपॉन ट्वेंटी जीरो जीरो कैंसिल एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव टू थ्री ज सिक्स एंड टू फाइव ज थर्टी फाइव what was that x common multiple okay so therefore what is the actual weight of copper weight of copper is equal to 13x no 13 into 35 find the answer grams what is the weight of zinc weight of zinc is 7x 7 into 35 find the answer and write grams okay children so please keep this question in mind this is the favorite question any question regarding ratio ratio is given so you will take the step as let the common multiple be x respectively so copper will be 13x and zinc is 7x so we got how much 13 into 35 multiply and get the answer So thirty-five into seven multiply and get the answer. So check whether you are getting the answer correctly. Thirty-five into thirteen by three is a fifteen carry one. Three is a nine ten. Five ones are five. Three ones are three. Five five four. So we got four fifty-five grams of copper and thirty-five seven is a seven five is a thirty-five carry three. Seven three is a twenty-one. Twenty-one plus three is twenty-four. Two forty-five grams of zinc. Let us take the ratio and see. Huh? For our satisfaction, we can check whether our answer is correct or not. So let us take the ratio four forty-five upon two forty-five. Huh? Four fifty-five upon two forty-five. Sorry, huh? both will go in five table. Five nines are five ones are. Five fours are twenty. Five nines are. Forty nine stable, and ha uh, both of both these are going in seven stable. Seven ones are seven. Seven threes are twenty one. Seven sevens. What are we getting? Thirteen is to seven. We are getting the ratio thirteen is to seven. Correct. That means our answer is correct. Understood? How you get ratio? So four forty five upon two forty five. When you divide it, you get the ratio as thirteen is to seven. तो क्वेश्चन में क्या दिया था थर्टीन इज टू सेवन वॉट डिड वी डू वी टूक द कॉमन मल्टीपल एज एक्स एंड वी वेर एबल टू क्रैक दिस सम एंड वी चेकड ऑल्सो एंड विदाउट सीइंग द सोल्यूशन वी कैन श्योर और मेक श्योर दैट अवर आंसर इज करेक्ट सो इट इज सो सिंपल जस्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक बिहाइंड द सम मूविंग ऑन टू द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन अगेन दिस इज अ वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन Often asked in competitive exams, find three consecutive whole numbers whose sum is more than forty-five but less than fifty-four. Consecutive whole numbers means one after the other. There are three numbers coming one after the other. Suppose the numbers are two, three, four. How are these numbers? How will we get three from two by adding one? No, two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. Huh? So suppose let me take one number as x. So how will I get the consecutive numbers? If one is x, second number will be x plus one. Third number will be x plus two. Correct, no? Correct, no? So the, if this is two, next number I will get two plus one. Next number I will get two plus two. This is two. If I do two plus one, I get three. If I do two plus two, I get four. Same way, if I suppose x, next number will be x plus one, and the third number will be x plus two. Okay. Ha. So let us write solution. Let the consecutive numbers be. Let the consecutive numbers be. Be with me. X, x plus one, and x plus two, respectively. Okay. 
Now, what is the condition? Find three consecutive whole numbers whose sum is more than 45. If you add it, it will be more than 45 and less than 54. Whose sum is more than 45 but less than 54. It will be more than 45 but the answer will be less than 54. We have to find out those three sums. So, according to the condition, the sum of the sum is more than 45 and less than 54. So, first we will check for more than 45. Clue given is more than 45. So, how will we write more than 45 sum? You got three numbers. We will add. Sum means add. So, you will mention according to the given condition. According to the given condition. According to the given condition x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 okay more than 45 so more than sign will be this way this is more than 45 solve it here x plus x plus x is 3x plus 1 plus 2 3 is more than 45 take 3 to the opposite side 3x greater than 45 plus 3 goes here minus 3 put therefore Therefore, 3x greater than 45 minus 3 will be 42. Therefore, x is greater than 42 upon 3. 42 upon 3 means x is greater than 3 1s are 3 and uh, 3 4s are 12. So, x is greater than 14. Okay, so I have shown the remaining calculation. As you can see, we got x is greater than 14. So, if it is greater than 14 means, what will be x greater than 14 means it is 15. And we had assumed the numbers as x, x plus 1, x plus 2. So, x is greater than 14 means it will start with 15. So, in place of x put 15. 15 plus 1, 16. 15 plus 2, 17. So, from case 1, the numbers are 15, 16, 17 understanding now from case 2 according to case 2 the sum of the consecutive numbers is less than 54 so I added x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is less than 54 x plus x plus x 3x plus 2 plus 1 3 less than 54 3x plus 3 goes there minus 3 3x is less than 51 Therefore, x is less than 51 upon 3. You get x is less than 17. x is less than 17. Here you have to get that x less than 17 means you will start with 16. So, if x is 16, x plus 1 will be 16 plus 1. x plus 2 will be 16 plus 2 that is 18. So, according to case 2, you got the numbers as 16, 17, 18. So, you have two answers for this question. That's why this question is different. I hope you all understood children.